Can I bring a little hip hop back? Yeah. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Uh huh. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Yeah. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Uh. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Yeah. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Uh. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Yeah. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Umar Johnson. I am a certified school psychologist and doctor of clinical psychology. Four long years ago, we began a fundraising campaign to build America's first independent African-centered school based off the principles of Pan-Africanism and international economics. It has been four long years of fundraising, four long years of searching all across this country, flying and driving from state to state, city to city, looking for the best place to begin. The Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence. I wanna thank all of my loyal supporters and all of my donors who have stood by me through this tough and difficult time. And I am happy and elated to report to you today that we have found the location for the very first FDMG Academy. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, parents and youth and elders, our ancestors are happy today. They rejoice in heaven because we can now begin the process of psychological reconstruction, one African mind at a time. At the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy, we are going to be teaching our young men along the lines of six key sciences. The first science will be economic and financial science. We want our young men to understand wealth as opposed to money. We want them to understand international investments, banking. We need them to be able to read the stock market reports. We want them to understand real estate and we want them to master the principles of interest. In addition to financial and economic science, we're gonna teach our young men dietary and nutritional science. As you know, our people are dying every day from poor food and poor dietary habits. We want to teach them how to understand and use the vitamins and minerals that the universe has given us. We want to teach them how to eat in order to live. And on top of that, there will be agricultural and agronomical science. If we want them to eat properly, we must show them how to grow properly. We must show them how to make their own food, to grow their own fruit, to grow their own vegetables. Oh yes, this is a Green Thumb Academy where we not only eat to live, but we grow the food that we eat. In addition to that, there will be the science of the community and the family. We have to teach our young men how to be fathers, how to be sons, how to be organizers, and how to be leaders. And then after that, political science, to make sure they understand the world in which they live. And then spiritual science, to understand all of the great astrological and cosmological spiritual systems 
that African people have given to the world. And last but not least, we must also make sure they understand the science of being men. This is why the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy exists. This is what we intend to do within the sacred walls of this great institution. Brothers and sisters, we are not yet done the work of preparing this school for our young men. There are still many more repairs and renovations that have to take place. I need you to continue to donate. I need you to continue to sacrifice financially. Now is not the time to give up. Now is not the time to give in. We have our building, but now we must repair, renovate, and restore this fine institution so that it is once again a model of 21st century learning. Brothers and sisters, please send your checks and money orders payable to the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy to P.O. Box 6872 Philadelphia, Pennsylvania 19132. We are going to make history. We are going to shock the world. We are going to transform the entire community one black boy at a time. In this school, you don't have to worry about special education. In this school, you don't have to worry about ADHD diagnoses. In this school, you will never get a phone call from a teacher or an administrator telling you that your child needs dangerous psychiatric medication in order to get an education. In this school, the teachers are responsible for learning. In this school, I am your child's principal is responsible for his academic success. We don't blame the parents at the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. And not only that, in this fine institution, we teach self-respect. In this fine institution, we teach Garveyism. In this fine institution, we teach African race pride and African self-determination. Not in one thing, but in all things. In this school, we teach Africa for the Africans, those at home and those abroad. In this school, your child will be taught the history and life and works of the greatest black leader of the 19th century, the Honorable Frederick Douglass. Your son will also be taught the history, the life and the works of the father of modern Pan-Africanism, the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. What your son will get in this academy, he will not get anywhere else on earth. Rejoice today because this is an international school. And the beauty of what we are going to do here at the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy, the beauty lies in the fact that where this great school is located gives our young men in Maryland an opportunity to learn here. We will give our young men in New Jersey an opportunity to learn here. We will give our young men in Pennsylvania an opportunity to learn here. The Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy, school number one, will be in the second smallest state in this great nation. It will be in the first state to ratify the United States Constitution. It will be in one of the last states to end the chattel slavery of our African ancestors. Brothers and sisters, that state is Delaware. Here, in one of the original 13 states, we will begin the process of resurrecting African people and reconstructing the African mind 
one child at a time. I don't have to tell you that we have a war against black boys in this country that is sending our young men to the cemetery and to the prison. We have a war against black males in this country that is putting more black men on the streets than in the boardrooms. There is a war against our young men. Everything from police genocide to black on black fratricide. Everything from homicide to suicide. Everything from unemployment, low self-esteem, and psychological hopelessness. But we're gonna change all that. In just a few short months, we're gonna change all that. In the name of our ancestors, in the name of our elders, in the name of my two grandmothers, both of whom I lost this year, I dedicate this sacred institution. I dedicate this sacred space to the resurrection and to the reclamation of African people everywhere. All I can say is get ready. Get ready for redemption. Get ready for resurrection. Get ready to rejoice because the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence is about to open its doors. Brothers and sisters, if you would like to volunteer or work at the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence, please contact me at Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com. That's D-R-U-M-A-R-J-O-H-N-S-O-N at yahoo.com. Or you can call your brother at 844-4-DR-UMAR. That's 844-4-D-R-U-M-A-R. I want volunteers. I want brothers and sisters with skills and talents and expertise that they are willing to share with our young men. Come and be a part of the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy family. Come and be a part of this great Pan-African Renaissance that we are going to begin at this school. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that at the FDMG Academy, there will be no out of school suspension. At the FDMG Academy, parents will never be called and told they must come in to get their children. At the FDMG Academy, there will never ever be a problem with young men being arrested by police. No boy will be arrested inside of this school. At the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy, we will have a 90% raw and vegan diet. At the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy, they will learn African language. At this institution, they will learn African martial arts. At this institution, community service will be a critical aspect of instruction at this school. We are Pan-Africanists and our young men will be Pan-Africanists. We are dedicated to the emancipation of African minds. As my ancestor Frederick Douglass once said, it is better to build strong men than to repair those who have been broken. Marcus Messiah Garvey said, without confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. But with confidence you have won, even before you have started. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I am happy today. And I hope that you are happy with me. Because in these chairs that you see before you, in these very seats, our young men will sit down and learn who they are, where they are, where they come from, but more importantly, what they still must be. 1690, 400 years ago, our ancestors were brought here, not as people, but as property. 
They were brought here to serve, to work. They were dehumanized and condemned. The worst tragedy in human history. Here we are next year, the eve of 400 years, the quadricentennial of the American slavery of African people is right before us. And we are offering our sacrifice of the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence. This school will be our great and mighty sacrifice to our African ancestors to let them know that we have not forgotten them, to let them know that we will honor them, to let them know that in this school, our young men will pick up where they left off. Martin Delaney, Henry Highland Garnett, Patrice Lumumba, Kwame Nkrumah, Anna Julia Cooper, Lady Henrietta Vinton Davis, Amy Jakes Garvey, Amy Ashwood Garvey, Edward Wilmot Blyden, Nat Turner, Gabriel Prosser, Denmark Vesey, Ida B. Wells, Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, Queen Mother Nanny, Ya Ashantiwa, Queen Nzinga, Robert Purvis, Mega Evers, Malcolm X, Dr. John Henry Clark, Dr. Yusuf Benyakinen, Dr. Amos Wilson, John Jackson, George G.M. James, Carter G. Woodson, Shaka Kasensa Kakona, Menelik II, His Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie, Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, and the list goes on and on. All of these great names will be honored, upheld, and their spirits will be invited into this great academy. Brothers and sisters, the time has come for the redemption of African people. Brothers and sisters, as this will be the site of the very first Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy, it must not only be the learning institution for our young men, but it must also be the international headquarters for the National Independent Black Parent Association. And it will also be the international headquarters for the 21st century's greatest Pan-African movement, the International Movement for the Independence and Protection of African People, also known as Team Pan-African. We will run the NIBPA from this location and we will run Team Pan-African from this location. We will also have an annual FDMG Pan-African Family Festival. And not only that, we will have an International Black Women's Festival, International Black Men's Festival, International Pan-African Youth Conference, this is where we will hold our think tanks. This is where we will strategize to build a black grocery store and build a black bank and build a black hospital and build a black farm from this location. All that must be done to turn this city into a black Wall Street will be done. Oh yes, it is definitely about the education of our children but it does not stop there. It is about the organization of our community. It is about the political and financial empowerment of African people all around the world. The Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey and the UNIA has given us the blueprint. They said wherever Garvey goes, so goes the headquarters of the great movement. And as a result of that, where I go, so goes the international headquarters for all of African people. So from this space, we will organize our community. From this space, we will save our young people. From this space, we will support our sisters. And from this space, we will resurrect our brothers. It's going down in 2019. 400 years later, the quadricentennial of African people. Get your boots on, get ready, get focused and get dedicated because there is work that must be done. And we need all members of our community to come together. Whether you are Nawapi, Gods and Earth, Nation of Islam, whether you are Hebrew, Moor, Pan-African, Socialist, 
or nationalist, the time has come for black power. Brothers and sisters, saving black children is my life. Saving black boys is my pledge. Helping black mothers is my focus. Empowering black fathers is what I live for. Brothers and sisters, I cannot wait. I cannot wait until we open up these doors on the first day of school. I can't wait to see all the young men being dropped off. I can't wait for all the black mothers to be so pleased at the fact that they finally have a school for black boys, by black boys, and in the interest of black boys. The Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy, Team Pan-African, the National Independent Black Parent Association. We have a lot of problems in black America. We got racism and self-hate. We got organizational tribalism. We have issues between black men and black women. We have light skin supremacy issues and dark skin supremacy issues. We have economic disorganization problems. We have black bourgeoisie issues. We have all kinds of problems. But inside of this building, we will begin to solve those problems for the entire African world from right here in Delaware. The entire African world will come here on a regular basis to help us organize and strategize and mobilize our people for the Pan-African resurrection that our ancestors crave and deserve. All roads, all roads in the African world, all seven continents and the hundreds of countries, all roads will lead to the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. Wilmington, Delaware, I hope you're ready. Everywhere from Dover to Newcastle to Wilmington and points beyond, get ready because we are about to become the living example of what a black community is supposed to be. Black Delaware, I hope you are ready because we are about to become the focus of the Pan-African world. We will become the 21st century's first Black Wall Street. One God, one aim, one destiny. Four long years ago, I made a pledge to black boys in this country that I would give them and their parents a school that was designed just for them where they wouldn't have to worry about being suspended every day or expelled every other year. They wouldn't have to worry about their mothers being called from work, being told that they have to come and take their son out of school for behavior problems. They don't have to worry about being called the N-word by teachers. They don't have to worry about being ridiculed for who they are. They don't have to worry about being forced to worship the culture of another people above and beyond their own. Well, the time has come. I have kept my promise and I will deliver to our young men and their parents, especially our single mothers, a school that will be a heaven on earth, a place where our young men can be, where they can not only survive, but also thrive. And brothers and sisters, we don't only have just one school, we have two schools. We have the Frederick Douglass building and we have the Marcus Garvey building. That's right. Two schools for our boys. And sooner or later, our girls. We are here. The time has come. Our ancestors have spoken and the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy will be a reality. Not just the school, but a community center. Not just a community center, but a think tank. Not just a think tank, but the headquarters for Team Pan-African the international movement for the independence and protection of African people. The die has been cast. The ancestors have spoken. 400 years later, it is time to get up off our knees and live as men and women. I hope you are happy. I hope you are glad. I hope you continue to donate because the resurrection of African people will begin in Wilmington, Delaware. Some say Africa's golden era 
is gone. A time when great African kings and queens built their dreams into empires stretching across the continent and beyond. But we say a new era is upon us. A new set of African kings and queens are on the rise. Driven by the same wealth of character as the kings and queens before them. Building new empires of enterprise with the right partnership. So rise up wherever you are, new kings and queens of Africa. Embrace your full potential and be proud of your heritage. Disappointment, a lot of failure. But in the process of doing that, what you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What's good, YouTubers? You can check out my page by typing in Blue Line Studios, subscribing over here, hitting my link, check out Speak On It with interviews, local business owners, scroll over. Check out music videos by Doughboy under the influence. All right, peace.